What's up quarter pounders? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Wave Potter, and today I have another request from Byron, which he made on my website. So thank you so much, Byron. Really appreciate you. This is a classic guitar legend, Stevie Ray Vaughan, playing a Jimi Hendrix song, Voodoo Child, live in Nashville. So I'm really excited to see this. I think Byron said Stevie Ray Vaughan uses 13 gauge strings. Standard gauge strings are 10. Even those are too thick for me. I like eighths now, but to use 13s those strings are thick hard to bend but they must have been the exact tone that Stevie Ray Vaughan wanted. I think Byron said he switched down to 12s later in his life but pretty sure here he was using 13s. That said if you're excited to see this pound that like button subscribe and ring that buddy bell and if this is your first time here I started playing drums when I was two years old I went on to become a multi-instrumentalist and play in many bands and now I like to make one-man band covers and watch other musicians play music react analyze and break it down. Break it down. That's such a thick tone. Not many guitarists can compare to the soul and feel of Hendrix to be able to pull off this riff in a way where you can really feel it, but this is a great... <laughs> I love what the kick, the drummer's doing here with the kick drum, essentially in the guitar. So witty. Here's one with his instrument. I love how he's playing guitar that's in unison with the singing and then so seamlessly transitions back to the main like rhythm guitar riff. Sounds so nice. The guitar is just an extension of his body. It's so cool. I like this bass line. His hands must be so strong. To bend those strings that much when they're so thick. If I tried to play this guitar with that gauge of strings, I'd probably look like Yoyoka bending the strings in her Come Together cover. <laughs> Just like need all of my fingers to bend one string. <laughs> Drum fills are nice. Is that snake skin? Wow. Whoa. 
okay. The most impressive part about that was that he never lost that note. It sustained the entire time when he flipped to the back. The hardest part of playing about like this is keeping the guitar far enough away from your body to not mute the strings with your butt while you're trying to play with it and not being able to see what you're doing and being in an uncomfortable position. This is so much harder than it looks. This reminds me of the Lost Lonely Boys. I saw them open for Santana once a long time ago and they were really heavily inspired by Stevie Ray Vaughan. They did this kind of stuff. It's so cool to see where that came from. That was such a smooth transition. You gotta see that move again. How did he do that? Wow, man, he has that down. Did he adjust his strap there? See, he's like doing something with his strap back there. Oh, maybe, does he have like another strap? What's that called? Strap mount or whatever it's called. Hook clip? Ugh, I can't remember. On his guitar that he switches to there? Oh yeah, he took it off. Yeah, he took the strap off, spun it around, put it back on. Oh, okay. So it's not a different height. He's just putting the strap back on after doing that spin move. That was fascinating. Okay, I was wrong. That is a different height. That's way higher because before it was in the middle of the body and now it's like up on the corner. Interesting that he created this whole maneuver and changed up actual physical parts of his guitar to make all of this possible. How? Okay, I was wrong again. It just looked like the strap was higher on the guitar. It is still locked into the middle there. Right? Yeah. It just looked like it was. <laughs> wow. I don't know how he pushes the guitar away from his body to avoid muting the strings while strumming and fretting with the same hands he needs to be pushing it away with his body with. Mind blown. <laughs> Give it back to you. Each and every day. Good to see another musician sweating as much as I do. <laughs> Those toms are so cool. Each and every day. They sound huge. I will see you in this world. Man, those symbols are so tilted. Very interesting. Wow. What? He's not. This is all hammer on? Okay, so now I understand where Last Lonely Boys got this whole thing from. So he somehow, during this, switches to just hammer on, holding the guitar out in front of him. This 
is a historical performance right here. You can just tell. I mean, an historical performance for the grammar people. His playing is not compromised at all by the position. Oh no, he broke a string. Is that what happened just there? Oh yes, that's why. I was like, what happened there? The string broke. That's why he was missing the notes. It wasn't his playing. It was just a mechanical failure. Wow. He just kept going. And he adapted to it. Wow. <laughs> Gotta punish the guitar for breaking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he made the best of it. Trouble, trouble, thanks you. Don't forget Jerry's kids, okay? Wow. That was amazing. That is an essential part of being a live guitarist, is knowing your instrument well enough to uh, be able to adapt if one of your strings breaks mid-song, knowing where the different notes are on the guitar on each string. So if you do need to play a riff on a different set of strings than it usually is on, you can adapt. It's not always possible because you rely on certain intervals between the strings that if you're missing a string, the interval just isn't there to play the riff the way you need to. But he really adapted well to that little mishap. Very interesting video. Thank you so much, Byron. This just seems like a little slice of musical history and I'm glad I finally saw it. Now I understand where the Lost Lonely Boys got their stick from with the playing guitars out in in front of them and behind the back and the tone the style they were obviously very inspired by cv ray Vaughan, so very cool thank you to all of my patrons if you'd like your own request you can always join my patreon or make a request at the website below but that's where i'm going to wrap it up if you enjoyed this please pound that like button subscribe and ring that buddy bell it really helps out and thank you for watching i'll talk to you next time